Dr. Ashton here with the answers to your questions. We have one vaccine question here from our audience, Dr. Ashton, and it says, is it unsafe to skip the second dose of vaccine? What do we mean by unsafe anyway? Well, I think the yeah. better way to describe it is ill-advised yeah. <laughs> and definitely not recommended. And here's why. Remember, the clinical trials and the protocols for testing these vaccines were based on a certain dose, a so certain time interval in between doses when you're talking about yeah. the two-dose regimen. Now, we have very good real world data as well as laboratory data that shows that, yeah, you get a pretty good immune response after one dose, depending on the vaccine, depending on whether you're testing it against the variant, but not as much as the second dose. And there seems to be this boosting or synergistic effect after the second dose where it brings in other parts of our immune system to help wage war against potential exposure down the road. So you are not one and done unless you are talking about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. If you are getting a two-dose regimen, Moderna or Pfizer, even if you're not exactly on that three or four week date, go back and get that second dose. It is a much better immune protection than one dose. You hear that, folks? Get it and get it when you're supposed to. Yeah. All right, next up here, I've heard that taking magnesium supplements can help alleviate mild anxiety. Is this true? Verdict is out on this. Okay. Um, the official answer is needs more research and well-constructed studies. However, uh, there have been other studies that have shown that a lot of people are deficient in magnesium. How that may manifest will be different for different people, but this is something, and I want to be crystal clear, you can get too much magnesium if taken in supplemental form, and that can be potentially life-threatening. When we give magnesium in a hospital setting, we are monitoring people's neurologic function and their cardiac function. So do not think if a little might help, a lot might be better. That is dangerous. And right now, very limited and controversial evidence whether it can help anxiety, but constipation, muscle cramps, you name it, they're looking at magnesium for a whole host of things, but the verdict is out. Oh, great question there. Very good great question. Person. I love that. Keep them coming, those great questions. With Dr. Ashton on her Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.